Welcome back. And today, I'm going to quickly share a couple of things about the Bag Knives Bodega that I have yet to see discussed in other videos on this model. Many people say that the materials used don't match the asking price, but I will say the unknown OEM has done some good work. With that being said, I thought this model actually had a separate bolt-on lock, similar to the original Bodega design, but that isn't the case here. Attached to the steel lock is a full-length liner that runs up and around the pivot area, so the whole build must be opened up to separate the lock from the G10 scale. The Bodega style clip does have a large ceramic bearing, which on all previous models would indicate the type of bearings being used in that particular model's pivot system, but again, that isn't the case on this model. The pivot system has been changed from loose bearings to cage, and they have also been swapped out for steel bearings. These steel cage bearings are very tiny in both width and circumference, paired with paper-thin washers that tend to flex and bow after meeting up with bearings. The action isn't bad by any means. I just prefer an IKBS action, so the underwhelming cage setup was a bit of a letdown for me. I believe the action would be much improved by milling a deeper, wider race to accept thicker washers along with larger bearings. And these are the couple misconceptions I had about the budget bodega that I figured out after getting one in hand. Minus the pretty sharp lock bar relief cut and fluted fuller areas, the scales mill patterns and blades belt satin finish are extremely well done. And although my issues have to do with form, the function along with the execution of the design is spot on. If you're into big designs or the bodega's look, this might be something you'd want to check out. Please like, share, comment below, and subscribe.